Hello and welcome to this important health and safety video for the precast concrete industry. We want British precast members and their subcontractors to be a flagship for health and safety. Our objective is that no one gets hurt or suffers ill health when manufacturing, moving or installing our products. Our agenda is zero harm, pure and simple. So what progress are we making as an industry? Well our accident rates are down by 75% over the last 10 years. Our injury rates are down below the UK manufacturing average for the first time. And we've introduced a mandatory charter for health and safety that commits all of our members to zero harm. The HSE tells us that on average our members are safer than non-members. If you are a member of the supply chain by sourcing from British Precast members, you are increasing well-being and helping to make the industry healthier and safer. Our enemy, my enemy, your enemy, is complacency. And by working together, we can really drive this industry forward. Thank you. On behalf of the Federation, I'd like to thank Andy Dix and Charcon for permission to use this video. Andy is our new president for 2012 to 2014, and I'm sure he'll join me in urging you to look at the video and apply the lessons. Dear colleague, I'm here to introduce this year's health and safety film, which we've entitled It Only Takes a Minute. What you've just seen is a montage of accidents that have happened during our lifetime, all of which could have been avoided. As you know, we've already done two DVDs that are focused in and around accident and accident prevention. This year, our focus is going to be on near miss reporting. We've made significant improvements in raising the standards of health and safety awareness in our business, which has resulted in the reduction of accidents, of which both myself and the executive committee of our business would like to personally thank you for your efforts. In order for us to continue towards our goal of zero harm, we must now focus our attention on improving our near miss reporting, which will of course make our business a safer environment for us all. As you've just seen from the montage, there are a number of high profile accidents which have occurred over the years, all of which have one thing in common, they all could have been avoided. It has been identified that one of the weaknesses in our group is our near miss reporting. We know near misses are occurring because we're still having accidents. In the 1960s, Frank Bird, an American insurance assessor, identified accident trends and as a result, the following accident triangle was created, which demonstrates the ratio of accidents to near misses. Bird's triangle shows us that for every major incident, there are 10 minor, 30 damage only, and 600 near misses. It's essential that we report near misses, as they are one of the most important methods of highlighting potential areas of weakness in our business. In essence, a near miss is a free lesson in health and safety, which gives us the opportunity 
to do something about the situation before an incident or accident occurs. It is the aim of this film to give you the necessary knowledge and confidence to report near misses. Thus making a difference, stopping unsafe work practices and of course reporting those incidents. What you're about to see is a number of accidents that could have been avoided if only we'd taken a minute. The first incident could have been avoided if only someone had taken the time to look at what the risks were when working so closely to a forklift. If only the concrete skip had been used differently, then the employee would not have needed to hold a board in place to stop the concrete spills. Using a different method of working would have meant the driver could have been guided into the correct position to discharge the concrete. By removing the operative and repositioning the skip, this has made the task much safer. think that incidents and accidents only occur in potentially high-risk areas such as sites and factories. In reality, this way of thinking can lead us to believe that in other environments we're safe. This is not always the case, as we shall see. This filing cabinet drawer is faulty. Everybody accepts that the drawer is faulty, but no one takes a minute to report it. It's just seen as a, one of those little annoyances in life that everybody knows about, but no one bothers to rectify. If something has happened or is taking place which has the potential to result in personal injury to you or others, or which could result in damage to property or equipment, then take action only if it's safe to do so, and then report the incident promptly. Remember, it only takes a minute. As we can see, the operator is placing offcuts right next to where he's working. 
This could cause him to trip or miss his footing whilst operating the power saw. We will see what happens when someone intervenes to make the job safer and what happens when no one takes action. Here you can see the supervisor has stopped the employee from working and explained to him the error of his ways. The supervisor has instructed the employee to tidy up as the work progresses. In this scene, no one takes action. What we have just seen is a series of accidents that could have been avoided. It is in the interest of us all to stop unsafe work practices and to report near misses. Once a near miss has been reported in action, we will collate the information to identify if there are any trends emerging through our business. This allows us to take action in order to prevent a reoccurrence in other areas of the business. Once again, thank you for taking the time to watch our film. And remember, it only takes a minute.